and welcome back to Heavenly Farms. Today I want to show you my setup for the seedlings. It is right now March the 12th and I should start putting things on the ground by Memorial Day. So it's right now it's the process of growing my seedlings i started i think the third week of february working on some flowers and working on kind of cold hardy things that i wanted to get started now most of you know that i live off grid so i don't have the luxury of putting the lights or anything to help them grow healthier and stronger so what I did is basically used my raised bed that I will show you. I'll, I have a video on how I built them, how I filled them up and everything that I'm going to link down below. But the idea is that I put all the hay and straw that I had throughout the winter kind of sitting here in the duck pen and it's all well manured. I also got some from the compost pile and I started watering it so it would start to heat up. After that, I used rabbit manure. I made a tea, kind of wet the bottom, charged the bed. So that way when I put the hoops that I'm gonna show you, uh, it kind of kept that warmth and I'm not only going to be able to grow coal hardy things but also my tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that we are getting more sunlight because we're getting closer to spring so they are slowly growing but this is a hundred percent nature working itself it's nothing that i am doing different it's just making sure that the bottom of the trays are warm with the manure with the straw and the hay and that way i am kind of creating that warm mat that some of you just can buy and keep inside the house right now that's not an option for me so i created the system and that way I can still grow my seedlings because otherwise I wouldn't have time to grow my tomatoes, to grow bell peppers or anything like that that requires a long time to grow from seed. So I'm going to show you today how it looks like right now. When I started, what I had was a couple of curtains that I got, like shower curtains that I got from Dollar Tree. And I had three kind of, not hoops, but they are kind of the frame of a trampoline. And I put it on top. I used three of them and I attached them with those. I put on top those shower curtains and that's how I started the seats. Then I kind of moved to this other method, which is buying... So as you can see, it's the same garden bed that I made last year. I think it was $13. This plastic I got from Ace Hardware. And I'm gonna show you, it's pretty simple. Now, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the bottom is all full of hay and straw mixed. This is all manured. So it was either inside the house, the duck house, or it was uh, on the floor here in their pen. And these were the first ones that I started. These are the Jiffy things. I think it's five something. They're at Walmart and they're pretty good. It worked for me. So you can see I have some mixed sunflowers. Those are all flowers that are coming up. These are all herbs. So the flowers kind of faster, the herbs not so much. Then I have these other two. This one are my tomatoes and I barely started them two days ago maybe. And this other one, it has some other recent seeds 
I think here I have cauliflower and I have broccoli and I have other brassicas over there but these two are the very last ones that I started so I wasn't expecting anything from there for whatever reason I haven't been able to grow good pak choy I don't know if it is because of the seeds maybe they're not good ones where I bought them but so I am trying that again. This is spinach, Bloomsdale spinach. Hopefully we'll get something from here. And this is also spinach, it's New Zealand spinach. And again, haven't been able to grow any kind of spinach, so I'm curious to know if this will work. I can touch the bottom, it is super warm. These are just some bulbs that I started. And then here, I have this new trays that I found on my channel. I'll have a link down below. And he was super lucky with everything that he put in this kind of tray, which don't have a bottom. So you basically water them from underneath. And here I have cucumbers and kale peas and oh the cauliflower is over there so basically I have a mix of things growing here this other one is empty I'll show you over there and I'm planning to work on this this next weekend but the idea is to put water in the bottom these are the shower curtains that was using to cover the top of this hotbed so I kind of use them for something different since I got this kind of thicker plastic that it helps a lot especially getting kind of that white light even on overcast day. I keep some water here so if I need to water it I use that. I have this container which is a yogurt container that I grab some rabbit manure that I have in a bucket over there and that's how I charge the bed. I charged it two days ago so right now it is super super warm you can't see any steam but it's super super warm and i definitely think that is helping things move along even though the temperatures are not helping especially at night with this system i've been able to keep things warm so if it's kind of hot which i haven't had that problem yet i could totally open it this way I have this is like an Ikea table leg and I prompt it open like that and that way I can kind of let it breathe for a while but I haven't had to do that yet it's only when I work on it move things around charge it with rabbit manure and try to keep things in hand like having the water there having everything kind of organized so I don't have to move them around and then having things on hand um, like right here I have the rabbit manure tea as you can see right there it's kind of brewing there for a couple of days and that's the best fertilizer and the best way to heat up a hotbed